friends, this is Normal Hifu Technique and in this video we are going to do the detailed camera review of the ASUS Zenfone 3 laser. So the ASUS Zenfone 3 laser is a successor of the say, ASUS Zenfone 2 laser which came in different variants. So now we have the uh, ASUS Zenfone 3 laser again with the laser autofocus. It has a 13 megapixel rear camera, dual tone, dual LED flash and then we have f2.0 aperture and uh, there is also 8 megapixel front facing camera for selfies. Again that's f2.0. So that is the camera spec of the ASUS Zenfone 3 laser. So let's see how good the camera is when compared to the ASUS Zenfone 2 laser and uh, does it live up to the expectations in this price segment. So first step, let's see the camera interface. So let's open the camera app and uh, here you can see the typical ASUS layout. We have the settings on the top, HDR, we have this auto HDR mode, option to switch to front facing camera and to turn off or on the flash. At the bottom we have this um, plethora of uh, options uh, and modes we have uh, manual mode hdr pro mode beautification super resolution low light so lots of modes are included it's almost similar to what we are seeing on the asus zenfone 3 so we are not going into details of these modes uh, they are self-explanatory and you can also try out if you have the phone so now let's come back to the interface and we have this option to record the videos take photos and then we have this manual mode so once you hit the manual mode you have these options to change the exposure white balance iso and uh, all those things uh, before taking the photo and uh, that uh, helps in getting the better out of your photos if you are uh, interested in uh, doing that so that's the camera interface of the ASUS Zenfone 3 laser and you can see that uh, video recording is at uh, 1080p that's a full HD video recording and then you also have the HD and uh, standard resolution. It also comes with uh, an electronic image stabilization, there is no optical image stabilization, it is EIS and uh, that's that was been the case with uh, ASUS Zenfone 2 laser as well. So that's the interface of the camera, it's a quite good interface, so there are lots of options to choose, a lot of modes to try out, so you can uh, choose these modes based on how you are taking the photos. So that's the interface, now let's go straight into the camera samples taken with this device. So first step, let's see the daylight shots. So these are the daylight shots which you have taken with uh, the ASUS Zenfone 3 laser and you can see that the color quality looks quite good and the overall uh, detailing also looks pretty good for a phone in this segment. But having said that, uh, at times you can see that the color quality uh, is a bit more saturated, not the real colors. That doesn't happen all the time, but at times you can see that the photos are uh, slightly saturated. And that has also been the case with uh, the previous generation ASUS Zenfone 5 and uh, Zenfone 2 laser as well. Uh, so that that's still uh, available in this device as well. But having said that, the camera performs quite well and uh, definitely is one of the good camera as per devices in this uh, segment and produces a decent uh, uh, level of uh, detailing and sharpness is also quite good. The close-up shots have also come uh, pretty good but we what we experienced is that the laser autofocus was not really accurate. At times when you are doing a close-up uh, picture, the laser autofocus did not uh, focus the image properly and you need to uh, touch to focus uh, the object. That's kind of weird because laser autofocus is the prime USB of this device and it doesn't really work that manner in some of the cases. But having said that, uh, uh, the clarity of the photos in daylight shots was quite good and are acceptable levels. So that's the daylight shots and also the close-up shots which we have taken with this device. Now moving on to the low light imaging abilities of this device. So low light imaging abilities was quite average. It's not really excellent we would say but uh, quite average performance. Uh, detailing is good but uh, at times uh, noise do creep into the photos and uh, sometimes some photos do not uh, make up for the best experience. You can also try out uh, shooting with HDR mode that helps in uh, getting the better out of your photos. Uh, there is an auto HDR mode available in this camera. So the low light images are in really impressive but not bad either. Uh, it's an average performer in low light. So that's the, that's the low light experience of the ASUS Zenfone 3 laser. We, what we can say that is definitely an improvement over the ASUS Zenfone 2 laser. It's an upgrade and it definitely feels much better than the ASUS Zenfone 2 laser. But having said that, it's not really class leading. Uh, this phone is priced almost 19k in India. So for that pricing, uh, we would say the camera performance is not really up to the mark. But definitely above average quality in daylight conditions. Now talking about the selfie camera, so we have this uh, 8 megapixel selfie camera and uh, you can uh, see that uh, 
uh, it does provide some really good options for selfie experience we have hdr pro a low light experience then a slow motion selfie pa panorama so a lot of options are there if you are a person who loves self taking a lot of selfies and uh, you can also set the time of for selfie captures and that will uh, be pretty useful if you are taking a group selfie and uh, you also have some additional options which we have seen in most of the asus uh, uh, cameras as well and here you can see that video recording is set up full hd so that's the selfie camera and uh, here are some of the samples which we have taken with the selfie camera and the camera samples have come quite good it's quite a good camera for selfies and does produce some uh, good shots as well and uh, this is pretty good for social shares so overall the cam selfie camera will not disappoint you and is a decent performer now let's have a look at the video sample taken with the Asus Zenfone 3 laser and it has electronic image stabilization and uh, uh, this is done via software there's no optical image stabilization and uh, to an extent uh, the EIS does work well but at times you can see that uh, EIS does have an issue and uh, you can see that uh, the videos are not really smooth in terms of the overall uh, quality and uh, you can see that the images or the video sample is really saturated similar to the uh, photo sample and apart from that one of the issue we faced was the laser autofocus in uh, the video recording mode and it didn't work uh, well and you had to manually tap to focus where we are thinking that this is a software issue which could be fixed via updates but unless you tap on the uh, screen it wouldn't uh, focus in videos so overall the video quality is quite average not the best so that was the camera experience of the asus zenfone 3 laser and uh, overall we would say it's a quite uh, a good upgrade over the asus zenfone 2 laser but having said that uh, it's not class leading camera uh, the pricing of the asus zenfone 3 laser is quite on the higher side for that pricing it's not really the best camera but still it won't disappoint most of the users so that was the uh, camera review of the asus zenfone 3 laser so hope you liked this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching have a great day